clean energy to me in this day and age actually means opportunity. We have so many people in my district and in places all across the state that are looking for work. I think right now in the United States we're in a transition to a clean energy economy. Good for the economy, great for jobs, national security, wonderful for the environment. What's not to like? This event tonight here in Asheville at Highland Brewery is being put on by the North Carolina Sustainable Energy Association. They push clean energy, energy efficiency. They educate politicians, the general public. I look to them to educate me about the latest techniques, the latest in new, new jobs. NCSEA is kind of a trade association, nonprofit that's, that's working on expanding uh, the industry and representing the industry across the state. We're just allies. We're all interested in cleaner energy for the state of North Carolina. The clean energy industry in North Carolina, really I'd have to say the face of it, is the North Carolina Sustainable Energy Association. It's growing by leaps and bounds. I was able to start a consulting firm around clean energy. I help companies find uh, tax incentives and grants. FLS Energy was named uh, to the Inc. 500 list for 2011. We work on energy efficiency for buildings mostly and the building codes of the state of North Carolina. We are developing solar energy projects all over the United States. We have grown from three employees in 2006 when we incorporated to over 80 employees today. It's wonderful to see this kind of new and successful business Clean energy is going to be the thing that brings new jobs to North Carolina. My name is Paul Quidlin and I'm Managing Director of the North Carolina Sustainable Energy Association and I want to thank all of you for coming out. The turnout tonight is fantastic. It's much bigger than we even anticipated. Um, I think uh, when you tell one person in the clean energy community, you've told at least 20 more. North Carolina is a leader in, amongst the states in the southeast and we want to keep that leadership role and we can move that to being the leader in the United States if we just work a little harder at it.